Welcome back, everyone, to another Spooky Saturday video. I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and a happy October to you all. We have lots of spooky stories ahead and lots of chills to be had, so let's not waste any more time. Hold your loved ones tight, your flashlights tighter, as we prepare to be spooked. Picture this. You are on a midnight drive with your friends. The moon is shining, illuminating half of the road in front of you. As you are cruising down the winding road, your friend notices something. <gasps> on the right hand shoulder of the road is what looks like roadkill. A dead deer. Poor thing must have gotten hit hard. But you realize your friend isn't looking at the deer. He's looking at the figure on top of it. It looks to have rough fur. Then it rears up and looks directly at you. A seven foot tall creature with the body of a large heavy built man and the face of a dog or wolf. You see it take off into the woods. Your friend asks, what the hell are wolves doing down here in the lower peninsula of Michigan? You reply, my friend, that's no wolf. That's the legendary Michigan dog man. I'm going to give you three stories of encounters with the dog man. However, one is the true story. The rest are fibs. Can you figure it out? Let's delve into it. Story 1 Hello, paranormal poet. This encounter I had while relaxing at home was genuinely the most terrifying, life-changing night I've ever experienced. It all started in 2018, when I was home on summer break. On break, I would find the time to go hunting and enjoying the fresh nature all around me. The days would get hot and cool off by the end of the day, so most of my family would wait until it got dark out to spend a couple of hours around our fire pit, enjoying the cool weather and cracking a nice cold one with the boys. One particular night, it had been unbearably hot. Once 10 p.m. hit, my dad already had the fire going. We got our drinks and headed onto the backyard patio to grab chairs. It was very dark out, and in the rural parts, you never take chances. So I grabbed my Dakota Model 76 rifle off the wall, a birthday gift my father passed down. It was his tried and true love. That gun helped my dad humanely kill his first ever eight point buck when he and Unc went hunting. Knowing he would eventually pass his rifle down to me, he took it off the wall and had it cleaned inside and out. Anyway, I began making my way out to the fire pit. We got our drinks and cheered for good times ahead. If only that were the case. I sat there talking and laughing, sharing stories of nostalgia. All was seemingly in line, when suddenly, behind me came a loud rustling, followed by the sound of light thumps. Now I've been around deer all my life, and when they prance, they make some noise, but this was significantly louder. A once vibrant space with laughs and smiles turned into concern and alertness in a split second. My dad was looking in the direction of the noise, so I turned around with my Dakota in hand and shined my light. That's when I saw it. In the dark tree line that's around my property, I saw this creature, this half-man, half-wolf-like creature on tied legs and just staring at us. He was just about 50 yards from the fence. One thing that stood out was its eyes. Upon shining my light on its eyes, they lit up a bright amber. Unforgiving, oppressively bright, and undeniably hungry. I could hear the thing breathe, and with every exhale, it was growling. The cold Michigan night made it so I could see its breath. This thing was large and intimidating. Just when things got tense, I heard my dad behind me say in a lowered voice, center mass. In my mind, I said, are you insane? This creature glaring its teeth at us, probably at its next meal, and you want to guarantee we get killed by provoking it. It hasn't harmed us to this point, so I figured a purposeful warning shot would convince it to leave. So I aligned my reticle in its direction, but purposely aimed at the ground and fired. 
the damn thing didn't move one inch. It stood there and looked at me, almost to say, that's the best you got. And shortly afterwards, the creature disappeared behind the tree line. My dad whispered, if it were me, I would have laid a bead between the bastard's eyes. I've been living here all my life, and I know the legend of the dog man well. It's just I've never had my own encounter till that night. From then on, no matter how comfortable and safe we felt in our backyard, I stay armed in case it comes back. Story 2 Hello, paranormal poet. My name is Malachi, and the experience I'm about to dive into is probably the reason I was reluctant to reach out in the first place. It was unbelievable, but I know what I saw. We begin this experience last year, October 2023. The sun crested over the hill and beamed down in this intense heat, and we all felt miserable. My parents, seeing how understandably miserable we were, decided to cheer us up by having us spend some quality time with their cousins. They have a property not far away from us, and theirs was beautiful. I was now eagerly waiting to go into the car and go. When we finally arrived, we were so excited to explore and hang out with the cousins for the evening. They took us and sat us down by the family room and did what teens do best play video games. At some point, we all got up and dispersed to do our seemingly our own thing, after an amazing dinner of course. This is where things begin to get terrifying. While inside, I felt my phone go off. It was my close friend, so I went to their backyard so I could hear him speak. After a few minutes of friendly small talk, I told him I had to go and promptly hung up. That's when I felt my heart start racing. The ground beneath me was shaking, but it was really in my legs. I was really confused. I just had a sudden wave of fear rush over me. I would soon understand why. Upon gathering my bearings and looking at the tree line behind me, that's when I saw it. Standing 30 feet away, hunched over with all attention on me, a seven foot tall creature. Its eyes were dull amber since there was still enough light out to see every feature clearly. The body was that of a large man, but the face, the face resembled a wolf or a dog. The eyes stared at me for a solid 10 seconds before the wave of fear came back, but this time, much more intense. From behind me, I heard the door open. It was my cousin Elijah. He froze in his place looking at the same creature I did. He urgently screamed to get inside. As I started bolting back into the house, I heard rustling behind me. At that point, I knew he ran to the tree line where it emerged from. Elijah and I both looked at each other and without even saying a word, assured we were not crazy. We both had seen the Michigan Dogman. Story 3 Hello, paranormal poet. I'm not too sure what I saw this one night, but I certainly don't want to throw away my reputation by telling this story, so call me Mike. To start, I work for a timber harvesting company as a truck driver. I've been working there for at least 8 years. My father was a trucker, and his grandpa also happened to be one. Guess you can say it runs in my family. The routes were never hard, in fact, the opposite. It was incredibly relaxing. Aside from annoying drivers, the atmosphere in my rig was calming. If my wife ever got pissed at me, I got in the rig. Anyway, this all happened last year. It was an ordinary day. I got my coffee to stay awake for the route. It was going to be a two hour drive to the destination into the lower peninsula of Michigan. Luckily I wasn't too far away from it, so this was considered my easy day. I loaded and secured all the cargo needed for this trip and began making the drive. From the time I left it was almost starting to get dark out. A couple of hours passed and I successfully delivered the load where it needed to go. 
Now it was time to head back home. I was now surrounded by darkness. I happened to be the only truck at the time, so no idiot drivers, which was a plus. At around midnight, I remember making a turn onto a stretch of road that was heavily forested and had tall looming trees on each side. I was leisurely driving through this stretch when out of nowhere, I felt a large thump on the passenger side. I definitely said words my wife would hate all in rapid succession. Thinking I hit a deer, I quickly opened the door and checked if any car was behind me. Thankfully none and so I proceeded to go to the passenger side. That's when I saw a dark silhouette leaning against a tree. It was around seven to eight feet tall with a really dark fur. Now I'm a pretty big fella, 220 pounds in fact, but whatever this was, was bigger than me. It noticed I was staring at it and only glanced at me for about two seconds before it dashed into the woods. I looked at the passenger side door and I saw a pretty significant dent. He must have hit shoulder first and got clipped as I kept going. I didn't have much sleep that night once I got home. I don't tell anyone this story, but I couldn't stay silent forever. So I figured I'd tell you. That was quite an encounter. If you enjoyed this video and you are new here, definitely please hit that subscribe button as we do this every Saturday. I truly appreciate you all for being here. See you next Saturday.